Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of J. Smith Plays MS Paint. I am J. Smith and I am on the internet. Thank you very much for joining with me today. Today I got a uh, special indie treat for all of you uh, action fans out there. This is a 2D side-scroller uh, murder awesome just gore blood everywhere if you haven't guessed it already. Uh, let me give you a little hint with this guy. This is Shank. Uh, I'm going to be drawing Clay Entertainment, or uh, it's, it's Clay Entertainment, right? Um, Shank, uh, 2D side-scroller, it's available PSN, Xbox, Steam, everywhere that you want to play it, it's available for you. Uh, so get out there and play it. Um, basically, this guy's a badass, he goes around and murders a bunch of people with a chainsaw and knives and guns, and it's a whole lot of fun. Um, but... And so I, I am going to uh, to be drawing this this fellow right here. His name is Shank. Um, so we got 15 minutes on the uh, the clock. Well, wait a minute. No, I don't. Let's go back here. We gotta get a countdown timer. There we go. 15 zero zero set. And now we are ready to go. So three, two, one. Alrighty, so the the first thing that we want to do is get a, a nice background color. I'm not gonna do all of the uh, the crazy things with this, but uh, I do want some subdued colors. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's get a nice light. Actually, this is a little bit dark down here. Um, how do I feel about having the whole background like that? I think I could work with that. I think I could work with that. Um, and then maybe get some brown at the bottom. How about we get? Let's just do let's just do the the guy's head, right? Um, so or his the outline of his body. So I think this is a pretty good color for him. So we'll start with this and we'll get a good idea of where we need to be. Um, so this is going to be his head right here. Um, kind of come down and around uh, the back of his shirt, uh, chest muscles, one hand, and then the other hand, real big right there. Uh, maybe a knife right there. His shoulder needs to kind of come like that. And I think that's pretty good um, for our basic outline. The proportions and everything seem to be pretty good. His thumb will be just like that. All right, so I'm, I'm happy with this. So let's start filling it in. Um, and then, as, as always, I'll get uh, the details in everything after that. So what I'm going to be doing right here, just filling in his face and um, really just getting his, his tone down right, or his skin tone. After that, we can work on all the other details like his shirt, uh, his arm muscles, and uh, the blades and everything like that after that. And as obviously the chainsaw on his back as well is going to be really important for us. So we'll just color this in right here. I think his head's gonna be important. Well, everyone's head is important, especially if they don't have big things coming out of it, like I am apparently drawing. So that is good up here. What we're gonna need right now is this bandana. Kinda coming along just like that. And the the funny thing about Shank is, uh, you know, obviously it's popular. It's got a, there's Shank and there's also Shank 2. But I don't know how much uh, people know about it. You don't hear about it too much. Um, it's a great game. I know they, uh, the, I've been playing the, the co-op mode with uh, one of the roommates here, uh, Tim. And that's been a whole lot of fun. Just kind of hanging out with him. So, like, uh, it, it's, it's weird because it's not co-op um, in the story. But there is a co-op mode in which it's like a wave after wave. Sort of, like, similar to, uh, I guess... Call of Duty zombie mode. Um, so it's it's an infinite number of waves, and you got to survive. Uh, the the longer you survive, the uh, the higher the score that you get. So we'll get his Liu Kang headband like that, looking good, and we'll fill in this right here as well. So that is great. Um, now for his beard, we're gonna get a smaller size, and usually I have. Um, an interesting form or interesting way to do beards, but since he's a cartoon character, this seems to be pretty well filled in, so I don't have my my small clicks as much as I would um, up, down, and all around, so this is going to be filled in quite a bit, I think. So we'll get all of this right here and bring that upwards. 
give him some sideburns right on his, you know, the side of his ear. And angry faces are abound. So he's got some pretty sweet eyebrows. All right, so that is good. And lastly, we'll have some hair going around the back as well. I'll fit in room for the ear as we see fit too. Just want to get all of these smaller details in. Um, nose. Oh god, that's a huge nose. So the nose kind of comes down right here. It's interesting, it's always interesting drawing something that's already drawn. So obviously this is like a cartoon style. But I, I did like the same thing because like Clay is the same developers as, uh, as Don't Starve. And if you've been following my, my journey through uh, paint here, you'll know that I've done Wilson uh, from Don't Starve earlier. And I think that came out all right. This man, he looks so, like, I don't want to be stereotypical, but he kind of looks pretty Asian. Uh, like, he's from, I don't know. Like, he is, I, I'm basically drawing Liu Kang right now, which is hilarious. Uh, I think he's a little bit more tan than I made him as well. So we'll get uh, this to be a little bit more dark. Um, like that. May fill in some of these minor details around here. Just kind of fill it in with a little bit more color. And over his eyebrow and everything as well. So that is going to be fine. You know, his whole body is outlined, but I don't know if I'm going to necessarily do that or if I have enough time. I only got 10 more minutes left. Almost to be 9 more. Or, excuse me, n almost 9 more minutes left. Uh, but I need to just get a hurry on here. So there's one eye and his other eye is kind of like that. All right. So, you know, basically I, I could have just put a picture of Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat in here. I think this would have had the, uh, the same effect, but Liu Kang obviously does not have a freaking chainsaw on his back, which I eventually will get to, so let's get that. Um, do I want to fill in all of, like, these lines and everything? You know, maybe I will. Uh, just for some added tone. I don't often do this, do I? I don't think I do. Um, but I kind of think it might be a little bit necessary, a little bit interesting, too. Uh, to kind of see how that all works out. And I kind of like that. doesn't look quite the same. He's not as menacing in mine, but he's got some sort of thing going on. Um, next up is uh, he's got his shirt on. So his shirt kind of goes to there, and it's all cut and torn, goes around his backside. Um, but I don't think I quite did that right. This is going to be an interesting uh, part for me. So let's make this part the shirt or if I even colored in the shirt brown that might help me out tremendously as well so let's get it's kind of like a brown so if I just started with this brown you know we might just call that a shirt so let's just do that let's fill Vince in with his shirt kind of get all of this area right here kind of comes down and it's not quite the same as it looks in the picture, but I think it will be all right. So we'll get that right there, and the rest of this is just arm muscle. Uh, he is a super ripped dude. Um, so we'll have this going to the back, and down and around. Great. So that is going to be good. And we'll fill this in right here. Uh, and down there as well. So that's going to be a shirt. Next up, we'll get some more room for his body, his arm muscles, just like this. I think we're going to go a little bit darker, um, maybe a little bit more tan, actually. So we'll get that in. That looks good. That looks like a good arm tone. It's different from his head tone, which is great. That's fine. You know, his face is just a little bit more pale. He uh, he wears a mask, perhaps. Maybe he just brings down his bandana. I don't think that's necessarily true, but it is a thing. Uh, Shanks a game that it's a it's a whole series that I haven't 
put too much time into. I played the first one for a bit. I, I specifically remember when it came out on, on the Xbox Live Arcade, and I was super excited. I think it was one of the first games that I saw at... Uh, at PAX Prime back in 2009, I want to say. Uh, and the thing that I liked about it is that there was just a button uh, specifically for the chainsaw. And I think a whole lot of people just kind of got a really big kick out of that. Let's finish up his hand back here. And we're just kind of filling this in right now, and I'll get to the details afterwards. So that is going to be one hand back here, although it kind of looks pretty jacked up. Um, we'll get his armbands and everything in really soon but just kinda wanna get some basic outlines right here um, get the colors in and we'll be good after that so um, let's get some white here uh, we'll color in the knuckles There's one um, two three and four for the knuckles uh, not Sonic in Knuckles, obviously. And kind of coming back down here to his wrist. And that'll be good. And I'll color that in appropriately. Uh, up here, he's got his armbands as well. And it's more of something like that. And I'll fill in the rest with his thumbs, although that's pretty good right there. Um, yeah, I kind of think that we can make this work with simple uh, lines with, the, with our outlines here. So let's test this theory out. So up here we've got his knuckles. So we got the one, the two, um, even make that kind of like with that. Here's the third, and the fourth is kind of down and around like that. Knuckles and the wristband with those little uh, lines just because it's wrapped. Just like that, his hand kind of comes up like this. It's a little bit shaded in. And some more wrappings and his thumb kind of comes around like that. Got a couple of fingers up and over here. that although that doesn't quite look like fingers but you'll have to use a little bit of imagination with this and we'll wrap all this up just like that we got three minutes left that's still plenty of time and opportunity to uh, work out some of the kinks with this guy just like that and one more knuckle right here so one two three four and last but not least, his thumb right down here at the bottom. We'll give him some thumb muscles. Or by thumb muscles, I obviously mean his uh, thumbnail. But I think that looks pretty okay, considering uh, I'm doing all this in 15 minutes. So let's get his shirt and everything uh, all filled out. And some last minute details as well. So last two minute details, I should say. Um, his wrist. There we go. And he is jacked. So we'll have to get him lots and lots of definition and muscles and all the good things that go in with that. Uh, even kind of fill this out right there. Just like that. Now, um, we also do need a chainsaw, obviously. So we'll get that. Um, we'll make that a sort of like a burnt orange color. I think that's going to be fine with this. A little bit bigger of a brush. Uh, and kind of just draw some of the basic outlines. His hands look so jacked up, it's funny. Um, but what am I going to do about it? I don't know. So that's going to be good. And we'll have this kind of come up down and around. And it also kind of goes down there. And I can make this a little bit darker as well. So if I could edit that. Make it a darker orange. Like that. And even darker still. To kind of come down here. Just like that. Alright. That'll be good. 
And how about a nice dark gray for the blade? Just kind of come down. Just like that. Almost done here. Got one minute left. Uh, so let's get our black brush and color in some of these. Get some details in right here. So just like that. Great. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. Up and down. I don't think that's how the chainsaw kind of looks like that, but we'll see. And we'll just color this in like that. And pretend that didn't happen. Just like that. All right, so for whatever reason, he's got this taped up. I guess it's good for his grip. Um, I guess for the most part, that's going to be Shank. Shank. By Clay. K-L-E-I. Or maybe it's I-E. I, I think that's how you spell it, though. Um, but, you know, that's not too bad. The, the, the most thing wrong is his, his hands. They're, they're all over the place. Oh, and I forgot the blade, so that is going to be the knife. Uh, oh, butts. Um, well, he's just kind of holding on to, to nothing there. But at least I got the chainsaw. I think that's one of the most important things uh, within this painting. Um, so it's, it's Liu Kang with the chainsaw. I kind of want that to happen. I think Liu Kang's finisher should be Chainsaw Massacre. Just saying. Fatality is the greatest fatality. Who knows? Regardless, thank you all very much for joining with me. I'm Jay Smith, and I'm on the internet. This has been another episode of MS Paint. Thank you guys very much for joining. I can't wait uh, to show it off uh, some more. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time. Later.